much dog hair. <laughs> so I'm going to my first festival in like what? three years or something next month and I'm really excited about it. I had the brilliant idea to turn my van into like a little festival sanctuary somewhere that you can go if you're like tripping too hard or just need a place to chill or just want to hang out with some friends. So I'm going to completely transform the van into a rave festival clubhouse trippy type of thing. I don't know what to call it but it's going to be really cool. So I've spent the last week thinking of ideas and gathering supplies for things that I could put in the van to make it have that type of vibe. So over the next couple days the plan is to transform the van into a totally new space. I want it to have a completely different vibe and I want it to just be chill and cool and it's gonna be the best van on YouTube. Just wait. I'm really excited about this so yeah let's go. And now a word from our sponsors. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Alpha ESS for sponsoring this video. This is their Black B1000 portable power station. It's basically a big rechargeable battery, which is great for powering your devices when you're camping or just aren't near any outlets. It's got a 1036 watts per hour capacity and can be charged via solar panel, wall outlet, car socket, or 100 watt USB-C. It can charge 12 devices simultaneously and supports pass-through charging. I'm really really excited about this portable power station because now I can hook up my laptop and projector outside and project movies onto my van. At the same time, I can charge my phone, camera batteries, and any other devices I need. If you'd like a Black B1000 of your own, check out my link and discount code in the description of this video. Now back to the van project. So the first step of my plan is I want to take these covers off of the cabinets temporarily so I can bring them inside sand them down and paint something really cool on them. Okay, there's like a little clip, a little thing you push down and then it comes out of the hinges. Fantastic, ow. Come on, man. Oh, there we go. Ow, it's fine, everything's fine. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the art and stickers off of these that I have on there. I got this piece of art at a festival, I don't know how long ago that was, probably at least five years ago. It was the first time I ever did mushrooms and I was with my friend Sarah and I remember not long after I took them I started to come up and I was getting a little bit of anxiety like I was getting a little too in my head. So she grabbed my hand and she's like, let's go for like a walk. So we walked around the festival and we went into this like booth, tent, whatever, where this artist had a bunch of prints of his art. And I saw this one and it just, it really spoke to me in that moment. So I had to buy it and I've kept it ever since. And going into that artist's tent turned my potentially bad trip into a really good trip because suddenly I was no longer just in my head. I was looking at this art and just getting entirely absorbed in it and it was, it was beautiful. I don't know what I used to stick this on but it is not easy to get off but I'm trying to try and get it without wrecking the print because I want to keep this print for forever. We got it. Now you can really see it. Okay, now I'm just gonna sand this. I wanna sand it down so that I can prime it before I paint it.
to. Now I've got some pillows. I don't know where to start. Excuse my hair, by the way. I don't know what's happening with it lately. It's just a disaster. First, I'm gonna install this because my old outlet sucked. So I'm thinking I might place this like right there. Or should I do it on that side? Or should I do it like this? I actually kind of like, like it like that. Ollie's just watching me through the window over there. Yeah. Yay, okay, I did it. Success, now let's just plug it into the thing. Look at that. Now we can plug in stuff, that's crazy. Next thing I'm gonna do, so I took the strip lights off. I had like LED strip lights around my van, but half of the colors stopped working. So I just ordered a new pack of it. Yeah, they work, look at that, beautiful. Okay, I figured out how to work a staple gun. So now I'm going to attempt to put these up in a nice way that looks good. Pink or purple or a mix. I think a mix would be cool. Yay! Excuse me. Maybe just slide that under there. And I can do some going over too. Sweet. This is so cute. So cute! Okay, I gotta do the rest of them. Staple guns are so fun. <laughs> Look at that. Look how cute it looks. It looks so good! I'm sitting on staples, look at it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I got this gorgeous neon sign. It says, it was all a dream, which I think is kind of cute because then if people are in here like tripping or something, they'll just think they're dreaming. <laughs> hmm, where should I put this? Cause I was gonna put it right here, but this is way too big to fit right there. So we're gonna have to go with something different. Ah, look at that. That's so sick. The framing, the stud is right here. So I would have to put it like, kind of down here. The screw literally just broke in half. What, how does that even happen? All right, well flip those screws. I'll try these instead, I guess. I did it. I got these little mirrors. If I can open the box, that would be fantastic. And I'm just gonna stick them, I don't know, wherever I feel like mirrors should be. The next thing I've got is these black lights. And I'm thinking maybe put them like under here. Ooh, dang, that looks sick. They're so bright. Let me start on the other side. I'm just gonna drill these little things into the sides here. So I wanna place it like this. So basically this will go like right here. There we go. Ooh, I have an idea. I'm gonna put this little sticker right here. It's cool, it's all like holographic and shit. It would have to go down, which I guess is okay. Cause I can't put it this way because of the way the brackets are. Yay. This is gonna look so cool at night. 
I mean, it looks cool during the day, but at night it's gonna be even cooler. So I was thinking of putting this up along the wall over here. That looks so good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the tapestry in here, but I actually love it. Like that looks so cool. That just added so much to this space, I think. And then of course, I already have my hula hoops in here. I just store them behind the fridge. So I've got two options for the back door. I could put this tapestry up, but the only issue with that is if I put this tapestry, like say I had it hanging like this, you wouldn't be able to see the bottom half of the tapestry. And the bottom half is like the prettiest part. So I might just save that tapestry for something else. I also got these bead curtains, which could potentially be cool back here. Ooh, I really like that actually. So I think I'm just gonna staple these to the top. Look at it, that looks so cute. The next little project I wanna do is something to cover up this space. Because I used to have a table here that folded out, but the table was annoying because it was like too heavy. So every time I would lift it up, it would be like this whole ordeal. So I just took it off. Um, but I want to have some sort of like curtain or something so that I can cover the ugly storage area here. I bought these tension rods, but they're kind of flimsy and I don't really like them. I think I'm gonna return them. I have an idea. I think I'm gonna staple this like under the bed. That'll be where the top of it is. And then I'll cut the sides and the bottom. Um, I almost forgot about the glow-in-the-dark star stickers. I used to have these all over my room when I was a little kid, and they kind of just remind me of that. I'm just gonna stick these everywhere, just kind of randomly. So this is the snack cabinet. And then this is just the other stuff cabinet. I got a bunch of stuff that I think would just be fun to have at a festival. So I've got a bunch of tarot cards, which I just think they're fun. I don't take them that seriously. And then I have all my little card games. And then I've got my sketchbook. Um, this is just where I draw my stuff from my travels. And then I have this book. And this book... This book is a very special book, Be Here Now by Ram Dass. Every time I've been at a festival and I've been tripping and the trip gets like really intense and I just need a minute, I usually end up going back to my vehicle and I take out this book and I just flip to a random page and all the brown pages in this book have like really cool images and messages on them. And every time that I've gone and flipped to a page, I've felt like it is exactly what I needed to hear in that moment. So I feel like this book is kind of magical for me in that way. So obviously I have to bring this to a festival. And then I wanted to rehang this thing up in here. And I was thinking because there's a little bit of a gap now between where the neon sign is and this area, maybe I could put it like right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is put in this disco light, which is gonna basically turn this van into a party. I just have to figure out where to put it. Probably over here. Glorious. I was just looking at this cabinet and I'm like, it needs something. So I think I'm gonna add some of these mirrors 
on the cabinet too since I have so many left over. It is day three. The paintings are dry, so I'm gonna spray them with a clear coat to protect them. I probably should have done that outside because now it stinks in here. The paintings aren't perfect. I kind of just wanted to do them quickly and make them a little bit abstract because I have a tendency to like go super into detail and take like 20 years on everything that I make. But for this, I had to like stop myself and be like, no, we, we don't want it super detailed. I kind of like when things are just like messy because then it leaves more open to like the eye and interpretation. Now just figuring out how to get these back on the hinges. <laughs> now for the grand reveal. All I have to do to power all these lights is just press one little button on the outlet strip. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> 